Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at why your air source heat pump isn't heating your hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, with energy prices as they are, they've skyrocketed, they've gone through the roof, they're costing us a fortune, we're all looking at more economical ways of heating our hot tubs and air source heat pumps are definitely that. Now, whether you're fitting one yourself or whether you've had somebody fit it for you, you might have run into the scenario here that you're not actually getting any heat. Now, I've had quite a lot of emails from people that have you know, found my content online and, and you know, they've done just that. They've, they've got an air source heat pump connected and it's just not heating the, the hot tub. So I thought I'd put this video together with some of the common reasons why your air source heat pump isn't heating your hot tub. So before we get going, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel. It gives me loads of motivation to put these videos together for you. I put two videos out in long form, which is like this every single week and a whole bunch of shorts as well. So I've got loads of free material all based around DIY hot tub building, plunge pools, air source heat pumps, and, and pretty much everything in between. So hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live, and please do subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first things first, why wouldn't your hot tub be heating when you've just installed a, an air source heat pump? So if it's not heating and you're getting a flow error, an EO3 error is quite a popular one for some of the brands, now, these could be caused by you actually not installing it the right way round. So what do I mean? Well, air source heat pumps actually have a direction of flow. You've got to put the cold water that's being drawn through the cold input, and you've got to put the hot water that's being heated back into the tub. Seems pretty straightforward. Well, quite often people get the, the pump the wrong way round. So actually on a hot tub pump, the front is the suction, and the side of the top is the discharge side. So if you trace your plumbing back, if your air source heat pump is going on the discharge side, the order should be from the pump, it should then be going through the bypass into the cold input on the air source heat pump, out the hot input, and then your pipe should be connecting back into the line so that that hot water can be returned into the hot tub. If it's going on the suction side. I always say try and avoid it if you can. It's better on the discharge side, but you can actually put them on the suction side. I've had a number of customers that have done that without an issue and it's always worked perfectly. So if it's going on the suction side, remember that flow is gonna come from the hot tub from, and you're gonna, before you get to the pump, it's gotta go into the cold input on the air source, out of the hot input, back into the, the line that's then gonna to connect to the front of the pump. And you know, the, the diagram behind will, will help kind of explain that. So check on the direction of flow, because if you put the direction of flow or the water the wrong way through the air source heat pump, you get that EO3 or a general flow error because they must have the direction of flow correctly through the air source so that it will heat. Okay, the next one. If you've just installed your air source heat pump, you've turned it all on, you're getting a flow error, it's not heating, you could have an airlock. And it's quite popular. Um, I don't know why, they just seem to be that way, but you could have an airlock. And that airlock would prevent the, the water flowing through the air source, it would prevent it kicking in, it will give you that flow error. So how do we know if you've got an airlock? Well. Firstly, turn your hot tub on, turn the circulation pump on. So this is the pump that should be connected to your air source anyway. You can check, if you just put your hand behind it, you'll be able to, to feel the, um, the fan going on the back of the, uh, of the circulation pump. Uh, you can hear it as well. It's pretty obvious when it's running. Next, have a look inside of your hot tub to check that there's actually some action and some flow going on. If there's nothing happening in your hot tub, and you, you can visually see when the circulation pump is running, then you've got an airlock. It's as simple as that. So first thing that you're gonna do, turn it all off and turn it off the breaker because you, you, know, you don't want anything to kick in whilst you're trying to release the air. And the first point to actually try and release some of that air 
is on the, the highest of the connections. It's normally the hot water one on an air source heat pump. It varies from model to model, but if they're, you know, they're color coded red and blue, you're gonna go for the red one, which will be at the top. If you undo that union slowly, you should hear some air being released. And if you undo it all the way to the point that water comes out, lock that one up, go down to the cold water input, do exactly the same. There shouldn't be much air inside of that, um, that, that sort of short distance, but it, you know, do the hot one first, then the cold one, then head over to the pump and do exactly the same. So you're just letting some air out of the pump union. If those are on really, really tight, then you can use uh, an oil filter wrench. You can pick those up on Amazon for about five or six pounds. Uh, pretty inexpensive, but quite helpful if you're gonna be doing this kind of thing. Once you've let the air out, fire hot tub back up and see if it makes a difference. If it doesn't, if it's still blocked, turn it all off again. And if you then head over to the, the bottom of the, the air source heat pump, so it could be the, the cold input, it's usually at the bottom. This time you're gonna take it off and you're gonna let a couple of buckets worth of water out. That's normally enough to create some flow, to move some air around and actually release it. Lock it off again, fire your tub back up and see if that has done it. If all else fails and that hasn't cleared it, then drain your tub. When you refill it, fill it from the highest point. So it could be a filter, but it could also be the top of the air source heat pump. So put the hose pipe in there, in that union and fill that way. And that way you won't have any trapped air. So again, airlocks can be a cause of your air source heat pump not heating your hot tub. So this one is my favorite. It's probably the easiest to fix and it's one that I've seen several times already. So when you've installed or somebody has installed your air source heat pump, they will have put a bypass valve in there. So that bypass is that arrangement of three different gate valves, two so that you can lock and remove the air source if you need to for servicing, and then the third is so you can open and create the loop of the water back into the hot tub. However, if all of those gate valves are open, when the pump is trying to run, you're gonna get a flow error because water always takes the easiest route and the easiest route through a bypass is straight through the bypass. So if it's open in the center of that bypass and you can see a, a picture of a bypass behind me and I'm highlighting the, uh, the gate valve that you need to check, you need to make sure that that is closed. You close that gate valve, you force the water through the air source and this is, would you believe, the most popular reason why your air source heat pump is not heating your hot tub because you've left the gate valve open. There's no or not enough water going through the air source. There's no flow. The flow switches aren't kicking in. The heater can't kick in because there's not enough water going through it. And that is why your hot tub is not heating. So make sure that that is closed. The only reason that you should be opening that is if you're on a single speed pump and on high speed, you're getting too much flow through the air source. So you can get a reverse error if you like, you can get an error for, for too much pressure, too much flow. You're gonna to need to open that valve in the middle just to balance it and reduce the amount of water that's going through the air source. And that's only really when you're using the tub. I would suggest that you close it off fully when you're not, so it's more efficient when it's heating. So that's really what the bypass is, is there for. Is your air source heat pump full of ice? Is it all frozen up on the outside? <laughs> if it is, then it's gonna struggle to actually give any heat into the water. So air source heat pumps rely on being able to draw the warmth out of the air. Now, if you've got a big layer of ice on the outside of your air source heat pump, any warm air is gonna to struggle to get through. It's gonna cool as it's gonna pass over that ice. So it's gonna be cooler when it hits those coils. So it's gonna be harder for the air source heat pump to actually heat. So if you've got a big, thick layer of ice that's built up on the outside of your air source, then that could be a reason that your hot tub isn't heating. Either use the manual defrost function or try and defrost it yourself but removing that ice will actually help the efficiency and it will help the unit extract the warmth out of the air. Again, I'm making it nice and simple here. I do have a video that's much more in depth 
on you know how an air source heat pump actually works but for when we're looking at flow errors and why it's not heating if it's too much ice it's working too hard you could have a massive inefficiency and you know it just isn't going to give you the heat that you're expecting and finally the final reason that your hot tub might not be heating on your air source heat pump because it's too cold outside what do i mean well i've just said that the air source heat pump relies on extracting the warmth out of the air however if it's freezing cold outside then it's going to be very hard for it to do it if your air source heat pump is not rated low enough then it's going to struggle to actually extract the warmth out of the air at those lower temperatures so if you've only got an air source heat pump that's rated to five or 10 degrees and it's you know zero outside then you're going to struggle to extract the heat and the unit probably isn't going to work so just double check the, the actual rating on your air source you should you should know this when you're buying it uh, you should know what it's rated to and if it's only rated to you know five eight degrees then it's not an all-season air source heat pump and it's not going to work when it's really cold outside so hopefully you found this video useful hopefully it will help you with your flow errors or your heating errors with your air source heat pumps on your hot tub as always i appreciate the view thank you ever so much and i will see you on the next video if you've liked this video please do like share and subscribe to the channel i'll see you on the next video